And tonight, the first annual Smoky Mountains Elvis Festival is taking place in Pigeon Forge this weekend, days after the death of Elvis' daughter, Lisa Marie Presley. WVLT's Richard Mason visited the festival to learn how the Elvis impersonators are celebrating Elvis while mourning the death of his daughter. We have one big, huge Elvis family here this whole weekend. The first annual Smoky Mountain Elvis Festival is allowing guests to experience six different Elvis shows over three days at the Biblical Times Dinner Theater in Pigeon Forge. More than 20 different Elvises will take the stage performing, with the winner going to Graceland in August for the Ultimate Elvis Tribute Artist Contest. Ryan Pelton performs as Elvis during his time in the U.S. military. At the end of the day, you're, try you're trying to do your best to uphold a legacy of, you know, Elvis Presley, which really no one's going to match that. The three day festival comes just one day after the unexpected death of the only child of Elvis, Lisa Marie Presley, who died on Thursday from cardiac arrest. It's a very unfortunate thing. I turned 50 on January 12th, which is the day she passed away. So I'll always remember my 50th birthday as being the day that Lisa Marie passed away. Tim E. Hendry, the producer of the festival, says the death of Lisa Marie Presley will have an impact on the festival. We are dedicating this festival to the memory and music of Elvis Presley, but also to the legacy and music and the memory of his daughter, Lisa Marie Presley. Despite many of the producers and performers of the festival mourning her passing, they say they will do their best to put on a great show. There's so many positives in the life, music, and career of Elvis Presley, and that's what we focus on. In Pigeon Forge, Richard Mason, WVLT News. Now the festival also making a difference, supporting St. Jude's Children's Hospital. It all ends tomorrow at 7 p.m. You can learn more about this event inside the WVLT News app.